We're going to go into this abandoned recording studio up on the hillside, which is very close to the lake, right next to Mount Fuji. Uh, let's go up and see what things we can find inside. It looks very spooky. Very spooky. This is what the building looks like from the outside. If this was a Japanese horror movie, there'd be somebody looking out of one of these windows right now. It's a recording studio. It's up on the cliffs next to the lake. Some of these are just regular rooms. You can see they've got the Japanese style, the paper on the walls. I just found this old rotary style telephone. It's in perfect condition. There's a huge painting on the wall of some cranes. I'm not sure what the symbolism of that is, but it looks good. I think I just heard something else moving in here, which has freaked me out a little bit. Ah, oh, there's a bat. Each of the rooms seems to be named after a flower. This one is chrysanthemum. I think this one's maple. Valencia. Pine. The ceiling and the stairs have collapsed here. So I'm going to have to go another way. I keep expecting some ghost to pop out from the grudge, maybe. That kid with the white face who crawls backwards up the stairs probably says emergency exit. And I've just noticed there's some stairs which go up. So let's go and take a look at that. All that's blocked off. Here we've got more recording rooms. Outside you can see the mountains around the lake. That's not actually Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is completely covered in clouds tonight, so we won't be able to see all that. And this looks like it was some kind of crazy 80s air conditioner. The hairs on the back of my neck are all standing up right now. Goosebumps. I'm not sure if it's because it's cold in here or because there's some Japanese witches and ghouls waiting to jump out at me. These cupboards look like pretty good places for witches to hide. I'm not sure what this is on the floor. There's loads of it in all the rooms. I suppose it could be batshit. Like me, I'm batshit crazy. There's a lot of noises in this building as I walk around. It's a little bit unnerving. Well, this recording studio just seems to have collapsed into the floor. You can see there's the recording booth behind it. Studio number nine, it says. Studio Caraway, and looks like it's got a picture of a phoenix there. That's actually pretty spooky, seeing myself in the mirror like that. That's not actually a real mirror, that's a two-way mirror. Another phone. This time a kind of grey coloured rotary style phone. This is the other half of the studio. It's in much worse condition than we were just now. You can see this balcony area has just collapsed completely. I don't think we want to go to the top of those stairs. There's an old coffee vending machine here. This whole area has collapsed as well. A Yamaha electric piano. There's actually a noise in here right now which is a bit unsettling. There's a kitchen back here. And there's a, a water heater. There's lots of these emergency exit signs. Wow, you can really see where the ceiling has collapsed here. It's actually quite beautiful. A picture of two guys playing a double guitar. Here's a map of um, 
around the lake and Mount Fuji itself. I've got two stickers, one for camel and one for clean and green Kawaguchiko and another rotary style phone. I wonder if I could take some of these back to London and Southern in the vintage markets. There's a poster here which says spring summer 1995 so this place has been closed quite a while. Here's another recording studio. I just heard a noise coming from behind me. I really hope it's not like some Japanese Keith Richards trying to come and get me. This is the room where the noise came from. And there's an old piano on the other side of the glass. We'll go and look at that. Ah, here's the old piano we saw. Yeah, here's the piano. Uh, it's probably completely out of tune right now. It's a Yamaha piano. Let's go and see if it plays at all. Here's another vending machine. This time for cup noodles. Japanese really do love their vending machines. Cup noodle. That's got to be delicious. I'm going to get out of here now because I'm just about shitting my pants. There's something very, very creepy about Japanese abandoned buildings. A lot more soul left in this place than anywhere in China. even though this place has been abandoned more than 20 years it still feels like somebody's living in here alright, we'll go out through the door and uh, we'll call it a night for this place I was starting to have my doubts that we'd find anywhere around this lake. My instincts were correct. There is another abandoned place. Let's go and explore. We're inside now. How do you do? This place is much older. I'm a white kitty cat than any of the ones I've been to so far. Look at my favorite red ribbon. Oh, this washing machine is incredible. I like drawing. That's a really old style washing machine. Say hello to me when you see me. Look at the dials on it. Hello kitty. That's strange. We're in. There's a box with an Indian chasing a little girl. And the box is filled with toys. And that seems to be Ultraman fighting something. The floorboards are starting to give way a bit here. There's a big pile of hair. Let's go upstairs. Check it out upstairs. I think some animal has died there. Hmm. Oh, it's much hotter up here. There's a lot of clothes in storage. There's flies everywhere in here. Let's open the window and let some light in here. Well, I've just opened the windows. I think it's been a long time since any light has come into this room. There's a picture of the guy whose room it was. It's a suitcase. I don't know what's in this suitcase, but it's really heavy. There's a lot of clothes inside it. And it seems to be metal boxes. I don't know what's in them. And these boxes were filled with model trains. Some old postcards too. Uh, I guess that means 1982. Put the blinds back up now, so that no animals can get in here. Buried outside is a Yamaha Jog scooter. This is the payment place. And then on top of that it says canteen as well. 
there's this corrugated plastic which is covering the door but that's just flapped away I guess we're going to climb in through there a desk with some spray paint and I'm not sure what this is some kind of radio tuner there's some dates in here 2009 wow there's a lot of stuff left behind in here so it looks like this place has been closed since 2009 it's very very organized mostly food stuff there's lots of these camping huts everywhere there's a few over there as well there's another quite large building at the top there let's go and check that out this is the boat room MKB I wonder what that stands for it's Moto Suko Boat if you're going to come up here try the pancakes in this place you can sit by the window and eat your pancakes and look out at Mount Fuji we're about to leave route 139 now and get on to route 71 which I think will be a smaller road let's see where that goes to Let's see if it's open. Yeah, it's open. Uh, let's go inside. Uh, let's go upstairs and see what we can find up there. Oh, right at the beginning, we got these slippers. They look like they decomposed a bit. The plants that were in here have kind of grown into the windows a bit. This is one of the guest rooms. You can see we've got this excellent TV. Toshiba Britteron. Toshiba Britteron. This TV must be 30 years old at least. And then of course there's the blue rotary style phone which we've been seeing everywhere. How they keep these places in such immaculate condition I really don't know. Sanyo TV. A little bit more modern than the last one we looked at. Another Britteron TV. Look at the speaker in the bottom of that, it's huge. An awesome TV. Lots of mattresses in this room. If you were homeless, you could literally move right in here today. In the dark here, you can see there's another blue rotary style phone. It's amazing that these bikes have been left here for probably 30 years and they're all in perfect condition everything is in perfect condition in here I really wonder how long these bicycles have been here they're in great condition but uh, they all have flat tires they must have been here a while this really is an amazing place there's even there's even a disco ball on the ceiling this is the bar area you can see there's a laser disc system I think it's laser discs, it says video disc, VHD, I'm not sure what that is. We've got a 
two TVs on top of each other. We've got tons of laser discs. Lots and lots of laser discs. And then there's this huge tape deck just here. Oh, it's not just a tape deck, it's also an 8-track deck. It, it can play two 8-tracks. There's a lot of whiskey left up there. Yeah, lots of this local whiskey left behind. There's a collection of laser discs for the karaoke. More laser discs. And best of all is this 8-track player. Ah, that's actually probably worth something right now. Look, it's a leaflet about this place. That's definitely this place. Isn't it beautiful? And you can see it's got Mount Fuji in the background. This place is absolutely amazing because if this was in China, in Beijing, every single thing would be smashed or stolen. I guess Japanese people are really superstitious. They don't want to come into old houses. label on the refrigerator. Lots of 8-tracks there. Let's see if they're, what kind of condition they're in. Yeah, these 8-tracks aren't in great condition. I expect they'd still play though if you tried. And there's cans of something called corn pottage soup. I have no idea what that is. VSOP brandy. Still sealed. Found this box. Don't know what's in it. Let's have a look. I have no idea what that is. What are they? Seems to be packets or something. I don't know what it is. I think it's washing. It's kind of blue. It might be washing powder. Anybody know what that is? This calendar says 1993. There's a lot of mahjong tiles. Mahjong tiles. This looks like it. Oh, that's the mahjong table. This is some kind of computer game. It says Galag. some kind of desktop computer game. There's buttons for it down on the side. Maybe it's like Space Invaders. That's probably worth a lot of money to a collector right now. You can see we've got the character Dao on the wall. That means way, like a way of doing something or a method. Next to it we've got the clock. Looks like uh, it stopped about nine minutes to twelve. The shrine at the end, which looks like it's got two dead, two stuffed pheasants. I don't know what kind of beast that is. Is that a chicken or a pheasant? I can't tell. This one's definitely a pheasant. Got some vinyl here as well. Okay. Dance music, Billy Vaughan and his orchestra. somebody has been in here recently fixing stuff. 
Okay, it's time to say goodbye to this place now. We're going to go onto the main road and see what other sights there are to see. Doesn't look like this place is open. It's locked down pretty tight though. It says over there, designated tourist hotel for travel statistics, Yamayashi Prefecture. Yeah, fancy place. What the hell is it? it might be a fruit bat. Look at the wings on it. is insane up here. I think from those hotel rooms you just be able to look right out onto it. it makes it pretty scary actually. Inside it looks pretty wrecked. Oh, it's open. Shit, I can't believe this place is open. This place is really spooky. even a mage trolley at the end of the hallway here. I think maybe this place was never completed. Oh my god, this place is huge. This place is so spooky. Really, really spooky. see animal footprints on the ground probably a raccoon looks like little baby's fingers and I mean look at this view this is the view from the balcony over the sea of trees that view is just priceless like somebody tried to have a fire in here. The ceilings have fallen away like they have in other places. We're going to go downstairs now. It's going to be much darker down there. My goodness. There is a casino table. A roulette table. That is so strange. And somebody who spelt out Google. Why did they write that? There's a lot of shit in here, but let's see if it spins. No, it 
doesn't spin. Let's go look in the basement. This is probably a really bad idea. That's very nice. This room is a view well, over the guys to relax, relax in here. The, the sea of trees relax. right outside there. Grandfather clock. Looks almost brand new. There's a VCR. It's another fax machine. It's amazing how much stuff has been left behind. It says 2007 here. There's uh, some pictures of naked ladies swimming underwater. I'm actually getting a bit creeped out now. I can hear crows outside. There's a bookshelf. Glasses and things that have been left behind. And, and of course a bottle of whiskey that's been left behind. It hasn't been opened. I wonder if that's still okay. Going into the kitchen now. The kitchen is usually the spookiest place. Oh, there's in fact an open window over there. This kitchen's not so spooky. It's outside the window. That actually might be a pretty good way to get out. Front desk. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is howling through the building right now. I think that's part of the reason why this area is so scary. It's because of that constant sound of wind in the trees. It seems very strange to me that these rooms all have VCRs. Red Planet with Val Kilmer. Clear and Present Danger with uh, Harrison Ford. I wonder, Jurassic Park 3, I didn't even know they were out on video. Uh, one is Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves, and the other one is Dance with a Stranger. It's got Miranda Richardson, she played Elizabeth in Black Adder. Strangely, this clock is still going, 5.34, that's the right time. In this room, and there's some weights. In the kitchen area now, some teapots. Better get a move on the sun's starting to set. really strange there's footprints on the floor I think somebody's set off the fire extinguisher in here there's footprints on the floor that's actually really spooky there's a noise coming from the end of here I don't know if you heard that room. It's got an electric toilet seat. I love those toilet seats. There's that noise again. Oh, this room is massive. It's a 
really big room. There's a couple of Chinese lions, some books about the Nepalese Himalayas. This bedroom's really big. A couple of beds in here. I think there's a dead animal over there. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Some kind of dead animal. Got big balls. I think it's a raccoon. Could be one of those badgers. Some really nice ornaments in here as well. But this one. Japanese guy digging. That's strange. A lot of these things have been put in this plastic bag and all the sofas are covered in newspaper. What's the date on these newspapers? On the date says 2007. This place is much classier than the other hotels we've visited today. Much spookier as well. It's Saturday now and I'm back at the Shorty Hotel. I came here last night but it was really too dark and too windy. But now there is an absolutely fantastic view of the sea of trees, the suicide forest. And we are very, very lucky because Mount Fuji is completely visible right now. This is an incredible view. And I think I'm actually going to stay up here and just sit and relax. I think it might be a fruit bat. See how the wings are all connected to the feet. Yeah, that's a flying squirrel. I've never seen a live one before. Never seen a dead one before either. That's amazing. This hallway is completely pitch black. Okay. I think we've seen enough of this hotel. We're going to move on to the next lake now and see what we can find around that lake. Hello, Shuo Hotel. How can I direct your call? Yes, I'll put you right through. Magnificent view of Mount Fuji. Moshi Moshi. Here you can see where they've got the hotel, Shuo at the top of this ramp here. It actually looks like a pretty classy place. This is the way I came in. Actually, the door was open. Some nice statues here. Little statue. Let's look around. Room 301. I'm gonna put that in my pocket just in case it comes useful later. You can see there's some Modern computers. This looks like a fax machine. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I have no idea what this enormous machine is. Oh wow, I've not seen a computer disc looks like that since about 1986, 1987. Some of you might not know what these are. These are floppy disks. When I was very, very young, maybe five or six, this is what we learned to use on computers. Probably this has about 14 kilobytes of data on it. Basically nothing. But what you can say about it is that you could see through it like this. <laughs> I'm going into the back office room now. Oh. Mobile phone. Pioneer. It's like a pretty old mobile phone, they're quite heavy. It's ringing. Moshi Moshi? 
Hai, Bryn, Nemo, Rin, Burbex. How rude. They hung up. Here's the bar area. There's a full bottle of whiskey here. Boston Club, 2.7 litres. Our master blender has created this whiskey to have all the character of a traditional whiskey, a modern yet timeless classic. We're going to go upstairs now. We're on the first floor now, and you can see the rot has set in a lot more here. Traditional Japanese style rooms. Just on the floor here, by the window, there's this round red box. Let's see what's inside that. And it appears to be a tea set. It's in immaculate condition. That's amazing. You could literally just start using that right now. It's so clean. Like most of the places I've visited so far, the rooms here are immaculate. There's still bed linen in the cupboards. The banners are still on the wall. If we open it up, there's an absolutely magnificent view of Mount Fuji. You can't see it completely right now. And there's also a beautiful view of the lake. It's amazing to me that this hotel has been abandoned. We're going to head down the corridor now, check out some of the other rooms. There's a lot of those dressing gowns. I don't know if they're called kimonos or not. And uh, there's a lot of paintings. if you need them. They've left a lot of stuff behind. Stream on this floor. All right, I guess we're going up to the next floor now. This is the first floor. Let's go up to the second floor. It's much darker up here. These rooms seem to be smaller, but in fact, the view is much better from up here. It's a 
storage room. What's that? Oh, this is a a mouse trap, and there's lots of mummified mice here. How really strange. They must have been there a long time. It's got cockroaches and spiders and all kinds of things. Please don't smoke while strolling about the Roy Cohen. I guess the Roy Cohen is these mats. Probably good advice. One last door at the end here. Like the trees are rustling in the wind, that's a little bit spooky. This corridor's a bit spooky too. And uh, here's room 301. That one's locked. Um, let's see if the key works. This room kind of smells like animals. I think the floor is ready to collapse here. But again, there's no view of the mountain from here. Style bedroom. Mm. The beds are already starting to rot in here. This bed looks like it may have had a dead body in it at some point. That's pretty disgusting. It smells like animal shit in here. room even has duvets left in it. It's just a shame that everything is completely overgrown in here. You can see that the windows are all overgrown with this green plant. This is actually a pretty nice place. I wish I hadn't booked another night in my uh, boring hotel. This place would have done the trick. This one's a little bit different. This one has got a settee. Oh, this room's a bit bigger. Double beds. Nice. And then uh, this sofa at the end. Uh, I don't think I'd like to sleep in that bed because it seems the ceiling's collapsed onto the bed. another storage room. It's filled with these uh, kimono belts. They're actually really useful. Oh, there's a couple still wrapped up.
Yeah, the strange thing about this hotel is that even though it's rotten and dark, I'm not scared here at all. There's no spooky feeling. Quite a natural feeling place. We're back on the ground floor again now. Just exploring some of the wings. There's two big double doors. Let's see what's on the other side of here. This is a conference room. If anyone's Japanese and can understand this, I'd love to hear about it. You can put that in the comments. There's another really strange picture here. Some uh, ghostly looking choir boys. In fact, some of these kids look really spooky. Those are some strange looking kids. As we've seen in most of the hotels now, they've left all the audio equipment behind. And this one seems to be a laser disc player and a microphone. Now, I didn't know that Laserdisc was so popular in this country. I really didn't. Delta Fox Niner, we have an intruder at the Shul Hotel. Please dispatch all available units to intercept. Over and out, Charlie Bravo Delta. We're on the other side of the lake now. If you look very carefully in the center of the screen, you can see the Shul Hotel which is where we just were. What a beautiful view.